Hello Leo Virgo. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for those of you returning. I appreciate you so much and welcome to those of you who are new. So thank you. Please remember to vice versa the masculine feminine energy on the cards and there's no way this can connect to every viewer out there. So take what you can use. And I always say you can self-teach yourself about the meaning of numbers, so if you take notes during this reading of the numbers on the cards that are numbered, and then Google them later, if you do that for like a month or a couple, excuse me, it depends on who's ever, how fast of a learner you are, you can, after you watch readings, when you learn them, you'll know what the numbers mean. You'll be like, oh, I know what that means. So the first one, Leo Virgo, is heaven. Wow, so the overall energy of your card is heaven, which is number 36, which I always break the numbers down to 9. So 9 is a very good number. I'm going to read heaven real fast, just so a lot of you don't, you know, get um, worried. This is the most spiritual card in the whole deck, and messages from the heavens are more than likely. You may be facing some major life challenges and questioning your future survival. Look for signs like the appearance of a willy wagtail or extra bright flowers appearing at significant times in your life. You will soon probably have dreams of a loved one that has passed over and they will appear to you looking younger and healthier. You will know that they are happy and safe where they are. Pay attention to gut feelings as intuition is higher than normal. You are in a rut and very possibly will change careers or positions over the coming year. You may see offers come your way which are too good to refuse. Your ability to manifest your desires is highly charged now, and you should do a vision board as soon as you possibly can with this incredible heaven card. This is the book saying this. So messages from loved ones coming through dreams, and you may even be touched by an angel with a special person coming into your life, filled with pure love that uplifts you or the family. You will be very blessed with some almost heavenly experiences and may find you have healing abilities through your hands or the ability to use the right words to make people feel better. You may also discover a child has special talent or is gifted psychic. So I, I'm just going to put a plug out there for Baby Boss Tarot. She um, is a reader and she and I have switched stuff messages or... And uh, she has, I believe, five sons. And she says some of her sons have that gift. So just pointing that out there if you're interested in checking her out. Thank you for checking me out, definitely. But I'm totally fine plugging out another reader. Because I feel like everybody just comes across a reader. Like there's different levels. People who are just starting out. People who are mid-level. People who know the ins and outs of the dark and light. And all that kind of stuff. So people's knowledge change. You may find a reader that when you start out is a baby reader, so to speak, where they're easy and then you move up through the energies. Is how I feel. So the first card for you, Leo Virgo, is kindness. Look at this beautiful. And this is number 12, which would be three if you add the numbers. So the overall energy is heaven and kindness. So I do feel like heaven notices your kindness. If the humans down here on earth don't notice your kindness, the animals do, the people who I feel have um, different energies like autism people, um, people like that who vibrate in a different realm, so to speak, are drawn to you very strongly, I feel, Leo Virgo. Like little children, animals, that's always a good barometer. I tell my children, if somebody, if animals and children repel off somebody, that's a good indication to move away from that person or not be friends with that person. And that may be prejudgment, but that's how I feel. You can't judge a book by its cover, but you can use animals and children as a barometer to help you make a decision. So the next one is groundedness. So groundedness talks about you are very grounded right now. Seven is a heaven number to me. I see the Mayan ruins in there is what that comes across as me. The tattoos on their bodies signify past life knowledge, which you have the heaven connection, um, you have the big sunshine, and you have kindness. So you have, 
I, I always say a lot of um, cuspers have past life knowledge. They've lived before and they're allowed to come in and be a cusper and live the dual signs. And I always say the elements for the signs are on my community page. Very powerful. It also shows the percentage of what signs are which. There is no percentage of cuspers that I could find out there, but moving on is beauty and this is 20. So I feel like in your past, there have been people that have came into your life and they have taken advantage of your kindness and your groundedness and your beauty, but they have kept your beauty from you. Like many people who came into you and told you they loved you and wanted to act like they were caring of you and cared for your higher good really did not. You see she has blinders on and she's feeding the swan bubbles. So I do feel like there's many people who saw your kindness saw your groundedness, saw your beauty, like I said, and they just tried to take advantage of that. And that is very, very harsh, is all I can say. So I already kind of know what the cards are going to say, but let's pull the cards and see what comes up. I have the two next decks are tarot decks, so the mystical cats, and then the tarot illuminati, so they can match each other, so confirm each other because they're both tarot decks. So let's pull, let's see what comes up. So the next one is Ace of Sky. Ace of Sky to me is a warning. The little paw insignia to me is telling me that you had warnings about somebody. The universe tried to tell you that you were being too kind. You were giving yourself too fast and not letting people reciprocate it. And there's so many people out there who will take, 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 take that kindness, act two-faced, like they're going to share and give you energy back, and they really did not. So the next one is strength. Look at this Leo placement. So you have groundedness and strength, which is basically the same thing. Then the next one is Ace of C. So this is true love. So I do feel like you had a lot of feelings for somebody, and you did maybe overlook their betrayal for a while their sneakiness, their lies, even though you had intuition and strength. Because love overrides a lot. What do they say? Love is blind. That you, you're, when you're, I always tell my sons, I'm always like, I am a third party standing outside what I'm looking at you and your life. So I can look at things objectively somewhat because I'm their mom and tell you things that they might not see. I go, I'm an outsider looking in and this is what I see from what's going on. And they're like, oh my gosh, okay mom. So the next one is Earth King. Wow, very powerful. So this tells me a heaven card. This is my heaven. You've had double strength, double heaven. That is my card for a person in heaven being around you very strong. When energies come at you and try to hurt you, you have heaven people who have passed on, I would say in the last five years, who are just standing there like, go ahead, bring it on. We got her back or his back. So, eight of sky, exactly. So, whoever somebody is who's trying to take from you or block you, they feel stuck. They feel trapped. Because your angels and ancestors are not letting this person close to you. They're not letting this person exert their energy onto you. So the next one is Sky Kitten. So Sky Kitten is saying that they want you to celebrate. They want you to be more playful. They want you to go have fun, to know you're protected. Of course, you use the safety protocols in your geographical, geography location according to the world on what's going on. I recommend, but that's you have free will to make the choices you want to, so just be aware of that. When the card comes out and telling you to go have fun and be playful, I just want you to be careful because I don't know who they're talking to specifically or what's going on. So Sky Tom. Sky Tom is somebody specifically trying to hurt you, somebody trying to hurt you on purpose. And then the wheel. So the wheel's changing. This person feels stuck because the universe is protecting you and moving you away from the situation. Look at this, six of C. So this is a lot of people crying. This could be people who tried to take advantage of you, who tried to keep your beauty from you, who used your kindness as um, their own selfishness, who took advantage of you for whatever reason, and look at the next card, Good Kitty. 
So I do feel like you've accumulated good karma over this person, whoever it is. They obviously have not. So now I'm going to pull the Tarot Illuminati and see if we can get some matchups. So the first one, Leo Virgo, is Two of Wands. Two of Wands is a couple things. This could be saying that you have a direction to choose here. Pretty soon you're going to have a choice to make, go right or left. And you're kind of going to contemplate it and figure out what your options are. I do feel like you spend a lot of time um, fantasizing about your future and what you want and where you could go and what you could do. And Prince of Swords. Princess of Swords. Princess of Swords is somebody spying you. Somebody could want to communicate to you. You have your walls up, your guard up. I feel like you have blocked a lot of people and you're not into communicating. So somebody who may have tried to play you in a two-party is what I'm seeing. This could indicate as well because she's standing there with her sword and he has her back to her. So if somebody played you and thinks you didn't know or you forgot that they involved you in that situation, you did not. So Prince of Cups. Prince of Cups is somebody younger than you, vice versa if it would be older. But I feel it's younger coming in to apologize. Somebody wants to come in and say they're sorry and they love you. But look at how you're in the middle with your sword and you have this person this way and this person going this way. So they're coming in to say they're sorry but they're going that way. I feel like it's superficial. And then we have Five of Wands. So a lot of conflict. A lot of gossip, a lot of people arguing, fighting, getting in your business or trying to. And then chariot, boom. So you're out of there. You have that success, victory, travel, relocating. You could be going to a new state, a new country. You have abundance of um, finances, it looks like, coming in. Success and victory. You're moving away from whatever this conflict to these people are. Hasta la vista, baby. You're out of there. So the next one is Queen of Wands. Look at how happy you are. So you're very loving. Look at all the sunflowers and the green and the gold. You vibrate at such a high level. You have the protection of bass there. Um, your happiness, you will do anything to make yourself happy. If you're hanging around people who don't make you happy, you're not the kind of person who will keep staying at a job if there's... Um, What's the word? If there is, gosh, I, it just went through my brain. I swear it's like a ticker tape just going really fast up there. So, so whenever you're at a job and say people you don't get along with and try and cause issues for you, you will just quit that job and go find another one. You're not the kind of person who will be a follower or put up with something that isn't for your highest good. You do it for a little while, but overall energy, you do not do it very long at all. So let's see, you have, uh, I feel like a new lover coming into you who wants to marry you. I feel like this lover has a lot of money. Wow. So you have the lover card. Beautiful Gemini placement. Then you have Ten of Pentacles, somebody who sees you is very prosperous, very happy. And then you have the Four of Wands, marriage. Somebody sees you as the Queen of Wands, very beautiful. And then you have Eight of Wands. A lot of people from your past wanting to reach out to you, wanting to communicate with you, wanting to come to your beautiful marriage. So then we have Justice. The universe says, no, not having it. Um, Leo Virgo's moved on. Their abundance is not for everyone. So look at this. You're blocked right here. Your money, your love is blocked. You're Moving on, I feel like a lot of you are finding true love and getting married that is going to balance you out in such a beautiful way. I feel like you never thought this was going to come towards you. So look at this. Then you have the Empress, which is, you know, why people want to reach out to you. You have the Hierophant, which could be court, which is covering the justice. Um, people who are married who tried to play you is what that could indicate. Definitely, or it could indicate you are getting married and moving up to, um, I don't know how to say it, like your own castle, so to speak, where you're going to be in your own energy and your own marriage and castle, and you're just beyond where anyone else from your past is going to be anywhere around you. So Eight of Pentacles, work. So you put a lot of energy into work. You're going to put a lot of energy into your future and... If you are getting married, I see you putting a lot of effort into the marriage. You wouldn't marry somebody who you didn't feel was worth any effort. 
So a lot of you, and I feel like it's a new person, somebody you haven't met yet. Or if you met them, you met them once, and it was just like a look at each other in the eyes and move on. I know that sounds amazing. So new world, look at this beautiful. So it's obvious you're moving on, you have a new world, your life is changing, new things coming to you. You're just moving from the past. I can't say this enough. What you, what your life was like in the past is never going to be like that again. For most of you, courage, look at this. So it took courage for a lot of you. A lot of you had to stick up for yourself. You had to shut down the haters. You had to shut down the naysayers. The people wanted to block your happiness, block your uh, knowing yourself. They tried to make you doubt yourself. And you're like, you stood up. Your courage and your strength overrode, which led you to a new world away from them. Look at this death and ending to... Energy, you had the courage to end stuff. You had the courage to end stuff that wasn't for your highest good, whether that's people, jobs, living arrangements, family arrangements, relationships. You have moved into your own, so to speak, for a lot of you, and you have made life choices that are going to make your life so different. I just can't even express. So I'm going to look forward because I know a lot of you don't like to end on the death death card I'm sure so let me shuffle one more time and pull and see what one more card comes up because the death card just means an ending is all it means you're leaving something and you're moving away from the energy so then you have silence beautiful so silence to me is beautiful abundance coming to you like if you are getting ready to move which a lot of you are or get a new job or getting married you're being quiet about it you're not telling anybody from the past anyone who was negative to you you are not speaking up about your abundance, your love, your life, your money, anything like that at all. It's hush-hush on the down low because you're moving into such a positive energy. Um, it's amazing. I want to just keep reading. I do. I want to keep pulling cards. You're moving into an energy of peace. You are. You kind of know. You have intuition on what's happening. So just kind of meditate. Listen to your intuition. And it'll take you... From what I've showed you right here into a little more of what you is coming to you. So thank you so much. Bless you.